Hey guys, it's Lola's here and welcome to a very quick kind of redstone tutorial on how I did my up escalator, so going up because I tried going down and I have, I've only fiddled around with it for a while I mean, I figured out the up escalators on my own it's not as good as some other people's where you don't even have to like move whereas mine you have to keep holding forward but um on some people's you just stand there and it pushes you forward and I tried that and I think I'm just not I just don't think I can do that so when I so I'll show you what I, how I go up so you can do like a one at the bottom as well that works as well but I just put some stairs here so you look for mine you just keep holding forward and it kind of pushes you up and then because you're pressing forward you do it and there are ways of getting yourself to push forward with like pistons and work but I just found that you got trapped in the pistons so um, also there's what, a command block underneath here that says welcome to the second floor um, but when I tried going down which I just tried the normal just tried normal pushing um, I found you kind of got trapped in the block and I know there must be ways of doing down but my down way didn't really work and for my mall I've put an escalator in I've also done a normal water lift and a pair of step a pair a set of stairs going um, down next to the escalator because some places just have up escalators I swear they do so I'll show you how I did this so I'll just stop it for a second um, and basically you do an endless um, loop of circuit um, and I found I had to do this instead of um, a normal um, like circuit here an endless circuit which is a minecart going round and then on a detector whale but I'll show you how I did that one in a sec if you are on a server or you're doing it single player that allows you to put a minecart down but the one the server that I was on didn't quite allow me to do that don't know why that, that's there so this I'll show you how I did this one so to do this you basically need a button and I think I'll just run through this circuit with you now here so if I fly over here and show you how to do a endless loop of a circuit so you need a button and then you need to put like a tray just a little trail and then you're gonna have to put these like round in a square almost but for the um one over there i haven't because i don't want it to be too slow while it's going across i haven't put my i haven't put like anything there but you can put it there to slow it down even more and then obviously well that that that'll work if i switch it on so um i think anyway um oh let me put a repeater there so Basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to put a delay in the repeaters and it can be as slow or as fast as you want it to be. So obviously over there, not all of my repeaters are um, set all the way back because I don't want it to just be so slow because it's an escalator and you don't want it to move excruciatingly slowly but you don't want to move it so fast that you get trapped in the blocks and then it doesn't really work. So what you're going to do, I'm just going to set these all back to the normal thing and you're, because the button only sends a redstone signal for a short amount of time, I'm going to press it and as you can see it's, it's going through the repeaters and the redstone signal is stopping and then it's it's stopping coming out of the button if that's that makes sense and because there's still some in the repeaters it keeps going round and round in a loop it's quite a cool way of doing it and it's not you can't turn it off if I was to press this button again it wouldn't turn it off and if I pressed it a certain amount of times it would just switch everything on and that's really weird actually because it kind of switches everything on because once you've pressed it a few times there's a red there's a redstone current and everything and you think it's switch off but there's endless loops my I think what I think is happening is that it's an endless loop of too many that it's filled the whole thing up but they're still moving that that's what I think that's what I think so yeah and the way to if you want to reset it the only way you can reset it is if you break some like one of them in the loop and you let it finish and then you just put a new one in and press it again so that's how you do the endless loop and I'll show you how I did my um, this loop and this is this is 
I prefer this one to be honest but I had to use that one on the server or something similar you just find different ways of doing the loops um, um, but this one you can actually turn off and you can turn it off I put I, I have made it a little bit more complicated the way you turn off but you can obviously just put like a le like a lever um, a lever next to what one of these and it will just turn off straight away and obviously when you turn a um, um, redstone what they call power way power power rails um, it switches off and the minecart can't move so what I did was I had a redstone torch underneath them underneath both ones because I've got two here and I didn't want two levers for both because that just no so um, I put a redstone torch underneath there. This is a really complicated way of doing it, and you can you can you can find easier ways of doing these things. Put redstone under there, and obviously this is the um, this is where you can turn a redstone torch off if it's one block beneath. If the redstone is just one block down, as you can see here, and if I switch this lever and it switches this redstone off, the um, the torch switches off on both sides, meaning the whole thing turns off and this can't move. It, it can't move on non-powered things and obviously I'll just sh I'll show you how I got to the moving up of the up and down so if I was to switch this on again um, you do have to give it a little nudge none of these things I guess there are ways of having this fully resettable but yeah so um that's how I did my s loops and the loops and here I've just got an endless time set day because I don't like mobs when I'm making redstone um so I'll do how I did the command block in a sec. Um, so th for this thing, oh, I've switched it off. Um, for this, um, basically, you've got your endless loop, and then you've got. You can obviously have it going beneath the first block under the ground, like there. But I just didn't. Sorry. Um, so basically, what you're going to do is the first one. You can pretty much do with. Um, the first one you can pretty much do with normal redstone trail going up to the um going up to the um block that's touching the um piston i am lost for words today but from up going up here i found it easier just to put repeaters especially if you want some sort of like alternation between how they go up like you want a wave and I'll show you how how to do a wave in a sec um, but I did it just going up in steps and then the repeaters next to the blocks as you can see here it's pretty easy it's probably one of the easiest kind of d designs of the escalators you can get it's pretty simple um, it is not fully automatic as I've said you do have to keep pressing um, like forward and I found it easy when you face down I mean you can face up but it kind of looks better when you face down. Um, obviously, I've got the hello, welcome to the second floor. So that's how I did this bit here. It's pretty simple. Um, then here I've got um, a um, stone pressure plate. And just underneath that block where the stone pressure plate is, I've got a um, command block. Command blocks are things that are quite technical and you don't really need to have one but I just thought it'd be really nice little cool thing if I added it on the top um, so basically I'll show you what I've got what it is down here um, so it's basically you do if you're you can only some servers allow you to use these and also um, if you want to get one you slash give slash give then your name and then if you're on 1.8 point one yeah and the it's the new thing and it's command underscore block where you have to actually write out the name of the block then it's that and it will give you a command block and they actually look really cool if you're on an update if you're up to on an update before that it's give well total and i believe it's 137 on let me yes 137 so that's how you did that, how you get one, and what you write inside is you do slash tell, and obviously if you do slash tell to something, why do I keep pressing E? When you do slash tell, so if I do slash tell well, to, I don't know if you can do this in chat, but um, if you do slash, oh, it's because I haven't written the whole thing out, um, if you do slash tell, it whispers to a person 
a certain thing. No, you can't sort of, you can't send a private message to yourself. So basically, you do, you do slash tell and at p targets the nearest player, and then you do hello, welcome to the second floor, or whatever you want to say. And when it's powered, it says um, it whispers to you hello, which is kind of creepy that it whispers, but. It, that was just the only one you can do at say you can do slash say at p but i think that just says it to everyone which you don't want um especially because it might get annoying and if i'm walking on here everyone over there in my server won't get the message but i'm the only one who will so that is how i did my um escalator and yeah i've done a normal water lift water lifts are pretty easy set of stairs and so yeah, it's not the best, most amazing escalator in the world, um, because I was when I was tr d trying to design my one, um, I did go on YouTube and have a look at a few different um, designs, but um, and lots of them don't make you don't have to you know, pr press forward because some of them they have things coming from the side which move you, but, so it's alternated, so it goes up one by one and things push you to the side so you get moved forward, or things push you back, um, things come from the back and push you forward, but I just thought that was a bit tedious to have to do another layer of pistons, so I decided just to do it like this, and if you want a wave, which actually looks really cool from the front, but you can see the pistons a little bit, you do, um, so you want to do like one there, two there, three there you, you you if you want to do for the last one you want it to be completely alternated then you are going to have to um you are going to have to obviously because you can see the last two go up on their own because there's not enough slots in a pit in, in a repeater you're just going to have to add another you have to move it out one and add another repeater there but yeah i think the wave works just the same i think hold on let me show you how the wave works oh, flying so you push forward, and it, I think it, I kind of, it does work, like, it does do the same thing, and I'm still pressing forward, but it, it does kind of glitch you on the corner a little bit, but it does look a bit better from the front, I mean, come on, look at that, that's pretty awesome, even though you can't see the pistons behind, but everyone knows that's been done by Redstone, how else has that been done? So, um, yeah, that's my, um, that's my tutorial on how to do the Wild Turtle 26's pretty pathetic elevator that I know isn't the best but is kind of an effort so um and this was requested by Holly Newman thanks Holly to well I, I posted it on my Instagram page a picture of the one that I did on my um mall and she said can you do a tutorial and I was I just thought okay and I went onto a single player and I made one and it's it's super simple it's pretty beginner um, I'm not the most best, I'm not, why do I keep saying, I keep repeating myself, I'm, I'm really sorry, but, yeah, that's, that's, that's that, oh, thanks Holly, yeah, shout out to Holly, Holly Newman, yeah, bye!